Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And what are we doing today? Well, I finished getting my seeds in. They had let the corn and the beans soak overnight and um, of course the spinach soaked overnight too because I forgot about it. But it won't hurt them. So it's called scarifying and they just uh, usually they'll cause them to sprout faster. Anyway, got my beans in there. I don't know beans about it, but I got my corn in there. Let's not be corny. All right. <laughs> I got nine corn and three beans in there. So there's uh, the back nine are um, corn, and the f last three here are beans. And there's two seeds in each um, little pot. So... I'll, I'll get two plants and then um, when I thin them out, I'll, except for the corn, I'd, I'll let two, two stalks of corn grow together in the same hole because the average is two ears of corn per stalk. And you can grow two stalks in the same hole and end up with four ears of corn in the same amount of space or pretty close to the same amount of space. So anyway, uh, the spinach is in here and there's 12 spinach, so... Um, there's 12 bean, 12 spinach, and there's, uh, uh, 21 corn and three bean, or three extra bean. So that would be 12 and f that'd be 15 beans. So I'm sorry. I don't know beans about it. Oh, I was strong to the finish because I eat my spinach. Anyway, I wanted to show you how those all came together. And then, i uh been playing around with the uh, supports, and I made this little box support. And of course, I could add um, four of the couplers on here and go up another height if I want. But uh, this is some of the stuff that you can do. Now, we're going to take a walk out to the garden, and I'm going to show you what I did down there. This is pretty cool. It's not pretty cool outside, though. It's pretty warm outside. We finally got summer back. It's been chilly at night. I've had to close windows at night and snuggle up in the blankets because uh, uh, the temperature's been getting down into the low 50s. But a uh, nice day today. It looks like... Uh, Something got into my prunings. Uh oh, there's a fire over there on the other side of the mountain. Huh. Something's burning. So I, I've seen that over there before. A lot of times it's the illegal growers burning off the uh, old crops and the, the old... Uh, St stems and stuff and uh, of course they're illegally doing it but they don't care because everything they do is illegal anyway um, the way I have in the past instead of using those support posts is I like run a wire across like that and then I tie twine on there and I let the plants climb the twine and this is cucumber, of course. <coughs> and uh, it's okay, but it's uh, it's not very easy to do. You gotta uh, lean across and make your ties. Where let me show you down here with that new plant stake set. What I did. Look at this. So I built it kind of like a swing set and put a straight bar across and I got it over the tops of my radishes. And you say, well, why do you need it over the tops of your radishes? Well, the radishes are going to keep growing here. And as I pluck them out, I can plant more seeds in the open spaces and grow more radishes. So I can keep overlapping that. And uh, I have some ready. Uh, for my neighbors if they're interested. But uh, 
here's my cuc um, not my cucumber, my cantaloupe. So I got two cantaloupes growing there. So I'm going to try something new this year, and I'm going to grow, instead of let the cantaloupe grow across the ground, I'm going to let it grow upward and climb the trellis until we get it up to whatever the top, if, if, if necessary, I can make it taller. But uh, then I'll hang um, uh, netting uh, underneath that to hold the melons. Once the melons form, I'll have the, them sitting in little cradles up off the ground. So I don't have to worry about um, roly polies and things like that getting into my, um, eating into the sides of my melons. They'll be up high. So pretty cool. I like it. Now you see on my, before I got these new um, supports, this is what I used to use. Now these things are metal and it's very thin metal tubing with plastic around the outsides. And uh, they are not strong. You see the one over there with the white pipe on it? That's one that snapped off on me just from the weight that was on it. So I had to slide a piece of pipe over there to keep it straight in the upright position. So, tomatoes are just doing fantastic. Carrots are doing great. And uh, everything's really growing just perfectly out here. Except uh, the, the corn I wild planted straight in the ground never came up. So... I think the seeds were a little too old. They were six years old. And uh, I didn't proof them, so I just I just uh, straight planted them. And they didn't come up. So I had to start over inside. Now here's my grapes. They're all BB size now, and, or bigger. And they're growing fast. I mean, really fast. So that's gonna be a, a nice, let me, I should've wore a shirt. Because I uh, just got shorts and shoes on and uh, the flies land on my back where they know I can't reach them. <laughs> Little suckers. So yeah, I got plenty of these grapes hanging down here with uh, all BB sized on them. And I'm going to have some grapes this year. A great grape harvest. So... The peas, uh, they're like peas in a pod, and uh, they're, they're still growing, but I haven't seen any flowers or pods or anything on them yet. I hope I didn't, oh, wait a minute. I see a flower right there. I was going to say, I hope I didn't plant all male plants. <laughs> Got a, one lettuce coming up, and there's other lettuces that are planted in between here, and only one lettuce came up. So I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can sprout some more lettuce seeds inside and get those in the ground. But once it gets hot, um, plants like lettuce and cilantro and that stuff, they, they just bolt. And you see a cilantro plant over there and it's, it's got all flowers on it. But uh, same thing with this one. And I just let them go because then when they, um, the flowers are gone, I get more cilantro seeds. And then I'll package those back up for um, future planting. So, nothing goes to waste. Got to keep on going. Yeah, I get lots and lots and lots and lots of grapes. Going to be delicious. These are all the uh, um, Simpson Green Seedless. These are table grapes. But uh, don't let anybody tell you that you can't make wine out of table grapes. Because I've done it. You can make wine out of any fruit juice. It works. Except uh, apple usually uh, is called cider instead of wine. So yeah, I got some more cilantro over here gone to seed because of the heat. It all bolted. But uh, pears, doing great. Got another one over here. And uh, I got a couple more up high here somewhere. Uh, I keep forgetting where they are. That's one of those things where you, when you get as young as I am. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the uh, apple 
that's Fuji and that's Fuji. And this one over here is Gala or Sharon Apple. So the quince is uh, just starting to turn yellow and yellow is when they're ripe. So I've got to get out here and do uh, some grafting and get graft my um, uh, loquats onto this tree. How low can you quat? I can go all the way down. Potatoes really coming up big. Um, avocado and peach doing fine. And I got some nice size onions coming up here. Yeah, look at those onions down there. Yep. Going to have some nice. Oh, this smells oniony over here. Going to have some nice onions here. And then my last avocado I got from my friend Andy. I stuck the seed in and there's an avocado tree coming out of it. So cool. I'm not sure what that other one down there is. I think it, it might be peach. I thought a peach pit fell in there. And uh, those uh, early Alberta peaches, they're very prolific. The, uh, the seeds hit the ground and they'll sprout up everywhere. I've given out more peach trees um, since I had that early Alberta over here that uh, ended up with root rot because it was in the wrong place getting too much water uh, Peaches don't like wet feet. Remember that. Oh look at this graft That's an apple graft right there. I'm not sure if that's a, a Granny Smith or a Honeycrisp, but uh, I'll find out sooner enough It looks like that one's got probably gonna end up with flowers on it next year. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to air layer one of those two branches right there. And then the other one will end up being a graft branch for the um, loquat. And if I air layer one, then I can get another one of these quince trees going. Because uh, they, they grow up and put up some nice uh, flowers. Oh, there's my two other pairs. Got two more right here. So yeah, I got a few pairs coming out this year. I'm gonna enjoy those. And uh, of course, all this greens are coming up big time, although I have seen some um, leaves have been getting eaten, eaten. And I went through here today and killed a bunch of grasshoppers that were all up there in the netting. So you can see a bunch up there in the corner, but there's one up on the roof right there that needs to be eliminated. But uh, yeah, I've been killing lots and lots of grasshoppers. So, got to keep ahead of them. All right, everybody. That's what I have for today. Thank you for joining me. Um, in the description, I'll leave the links to those uh, uh, garden stakes, the supports. And also, I'll leave the link again for those uh, starter trays. So, uh, Please go over to Amazon and buy some of those. Don't forget to look on the page that you bring up from the link. It'll show you that you're going to get a discount off the top. And then there's in there uh, right below that it says um, coupon 5%. So click on that 5% and get an extra 5% off. I think it's 30% is what uh, they're giving you on the initial. Uh, you can get 35% off on your um, grow trays, your starter trays, and your um, post supports. So those work out great for like working on top of a table, anything like that, because you can make different shapes out of them, and uh, they'll they'll hold up and uh, on top of a table, and you can tie your plants up and let them climb. That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget your thumbs ups down there. Don't forget to share and subscribe. This is G Bear signing off.